Yeah. First opportunity to come back here, one of the TGG events, and always a spectacle to be seen. So let's get right into it here. It's going to be Alex Disney. Wow, that was, uh, that was no fear. <laughs> Man, two, two characters. Instant dimensional cape. Two characters of a dying breed. Not many Sonics out there anymore, and not many Meta Knights. It's a bit of a shame, actually. Meta Knight has some stuff in this game. Oh, maybe we're about to see some of that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is what we're gonna be seeing right now. This is just uh, this is a taste of what's to come in this set. It's just very patient, neutral. But when they get in, they box, then they go back out, and then uh, we get the we get to do it all over again. Oh, good. I like the fact that he was gonna go for mock tornado, and then try to kind of catch him there on the landing there from a high recovery. Really good opportunity here. I like that dimensional cape above the ledge, able to get the slash without really getting punished because he falls to the ledge. Yeah. We see Alice yeah. Disc here. He's kind of playing at the distance here, trying to find an opportunity to get in the side of Crispy. Right. And he does have that speed with Sonic, but he tries to make an attempt with Speed Dash. No, nothing yet. I do like how we are seeing Crispy go for that parry. If you yeah. parry your opponent, you will condition them to stop going for their favorite moves. Right. I think we're seeing a little bit of adaptation here from Alex Disc. Either that or it's just impatience from Crispy. But in that first 30 seconds, man, Crispy got all this damage, but now it just... I don't think he's really really been running how he wants to. He's just uh, just getting caught by Alex Disc at kind of every turn, oh. except that one in which he yoinked that stock out of thin air. And that was still good for Alex Disc to go for the opportunity there because we do know that Sonic's forward smash does have a little bit of that range. It does have that last hitbox. Yep. You yep. can punish your opponent at the ledge, but unfortunately, he paid the price for kind of just going for that one. Off. Not respecting dimensional cape. Or accounting for it. I think, he was, I think he was worried about getting hit by the dimensional cape, just decided to back off, and he was still able to reset the situation. Yeah. That was a, that was a good, really good play by Alex Disc. Alex, I like it. Look, this time, he has 0%. He has the speed. He's looking for spacing. He wants Crispy to make that play, and then finds the punish like that with yep. the back end. Able to get the stock there. Only, uh, only a 10% deficit, so we're essentially on even ground here. Nice bait. Nice bait. He didn't release the uh, homing attack when he thought he would. He's really going for it with these dimensional caves, man. As soon as Alex Disc catches on to that, they're going to get hard punished every single time. But since he can do it now, I respect that he is, is doing it now. Here we go. Edge guard situation, but he's, yeah, he's backing off. Yep. Garbage very backs smart. Up, gets the very smart. He's learned. What an he's learned. What an adaptation. Oh, my man just hopped over him. <laughs> Didn't want to be anywhere near the level, same level of plane. All right, tries to go for a grab once more. Backs off. Yeah, you can see Crispy is definitely the uh, the aggressor here. Yeah. In this moment, he obviously is at a pretty big deficit. He's not at the percent where a dimensional cape will KO. He just needs to he needs to rack up a little bit more before he can start looking for these kills. And it seems like the dimensional cape is kind of shut down. Alex, so. Alex dis from going for forward smash. Yeah, he had a couple of opportunities where that would have been the call, but instead he looks for space. He gets the forward tilt. He looks for the opportunity at the ledges. He's trying to like understand. Okay, Crispy is right here with the overcommitment. I'm here with the spacing. I have the speed to kind of come back in and forth. So now we're kind of approaching percents where Meta Knight can kill. A little bit ambitious on that mock tornado, but. He only ate about 20, 20 ish, so it's not really it's not really like he's paying for his life with it. I mean he might be, but unfortunately the only one playing for their life here is gonna be Alex Disc. Right. They can't count out the dimensional cape on the stage. 60% deficit, roughly half of a stock, you know, if you're thinking about it like that. But you know, the patience from Alex Disc is really it's gonna be the test here. Yeah. Because if he is patient then he should have absolutely no problem cleaning up this game right now. But if he starts to let that go, then Crispy's gonna, you know, he's gonna take advantage of that. But that doesn't seem to be what we're seeing right now as he's turned a 60% lead into an 125% lead. Oh, no, he had opportunity for punishes here, but he yeah. missed it, could have gone for a grab. It seems like so he might be a little bit unfamiliar with the end lag on uh, Meta Knight's kit. Yeah. Obviously a very rare character, but either way, that's a KO. That's a game one it's, finished. And it's still good, though. Even though he missed those punishes, really crucial there to take the stock early. Your opponent yep. does always have a comeback factor against you. You never sleep on your opponent here. Yep. But I still like the yep. fact yep. that Alex Disc plays the patient game. And like you said, it's Crispy who's the aggressor. Right. Yeah, as long as Meta Knight gets an up air, he can still do up air chains. Yeah. It's not like that option is gone from Smash 4. It's just a little bit harder to get. In, in terms of that, 
you saw Alex Disc only in the air as a result of a spin dash or if he was using homing attack, he wasn't trying to approach him from the air for the most most parts of that match, which is, is really, really smart play because I think he must know. He must know that that uh, up air chain is still there and still a huge option for Meta Knight. Just playing around it as efficiently as he can. All right, well, game two, Alex Disc stays Sonic here, Christy, with the Meta Knight. He has to understand, you know what, I might have been a little bit too aggressive, right? I gave, yeah, exactly. I gave Alex a little bit too much especially with the spacing away from me, I might have to play a little bit more of a patient neutral. Doesn't seem like he's heeding his own advice here. <laughs> he's uh, definitely definitely still the aggressor here. Alex is just kind of dancing around him and catching him at these at these critical moments when he's trying to, when, you know, Crispy's trying to do the same thing. You know, funny thing about here, sorry for the pun, Meta Knight used to be the original Nightmare on Smash Ball. That's Back in the Brawl days, man. I cannot argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> he was the original Nightmare I mean, on he Smashville. Was, he was the Nightmare on every stage, but... <laughs> Smashville was definitely one of them. Yeah. Sheik was the second one back in the Smash for Wii U. That's true. We That's used to call true. this stage Sheikville at this level at one point, but anyways. Oh, yeah. It's a forward tilt. He puts his man Alex just back on the stage. Good forward smash there. Yeah, keeping it very close right now. It's no clear, no clear uh, person winning right now because... No, you have, of course, Crispy with a 2%. Oh, never mind. My man using the walking strategy, he had, like, like you said, right? Sometimes the patient neutral is the way to go, and Alex right. kind of showing a little bit of that. Wow. That was that was just beautiful. Drag down back air into uh, down smash. Quick damage for, uh, for Crispy, and suddenly he's in a slight lead right now. He's going to be able to get the stock pretty quickly. And oh. there it is. Yeah, this uh, time, Alex was a little bit more over I like that he's not overusing that F smash. Yeah. He's he's using it for the mix-up opportunity. Oh, you saw so much fear there with Crispy. He was, like, really just in right next to Sonic there. It's hard to... Uh, Forward air, you have to finish it off right there. Yeah, it's hard to get him off right now. Even. It's hard to get him off for the end of that stock. It was just... The pressure from Alex Disc was so insane that it just... You know, it kind of toppled him. Eventually, led to him losing his second, or his his first stock, actually. Excuse me. There we go. Spin dashes galore. We got even game right now. The jab, They're nice really jab, just trading oh. hits. Wow, he had the read. He did. He, he did. Totally he, had the he read. He had the read and he had the play, but unfortunately missed the uh, execution timing there. That's the thing, man, is that both these characters move and act so quickly that even if they're in a stalemate situation where they're both like, wait, what's the other one doing? They might not even do anything because they're afraid that something so fast is going to come out that like, that they just, they got tricked. And But the reality is that they were just both panicking in these situations and they don't want to commit. So, yeah. like, we're seeing a lot of spaghetti, if you want to put it that way, for that reason. I think, you know, I think this match might be decided by whoever can get the stock first. Yeah. Because the uh, we are three minutes into the game now. The tensions are going to be high. The pressure building, of course. Yeah, I mean, we are we're looking really more towards barely, barely passing the five-minute mark. Oh, and That's that. a stock. Yep, and he brilliant waited. Use. He waited with that extra jump. Absolutely he brilliant use of that mock tornado. He wanted to make sure Alex was going to be the one to commit to that ledge, and he had them knocked up there on point. Yeah, he waited for the air dodge. You love to see it. But, you know, Alex, evening it right up, my prediction has not come true, as this is a 100% even game. Both players at one stocks, four and a half minutes remaining. It's just uncanny how they keep trading hits <laughs> one after the other. Yeah. He's and I feel like Alex is still trying to dissect the Meta Knight matchup here. Right. There's not too many of them out there. Let's be honest. It's a character of a dying breed. Nice it's the follow. forward air. Nice. Respects. This. Yeah, I like it. Even though Crispy isn't getting those dimensional caves, he's still putting it out there, and that lets Alex know I can't keep that same ledge play as I, 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 as I would love to. Yeah, you know you know, Alex wanted that backer. He wanted this to be over. Yeah. I like how he makes a play for the forward smash by covering it up from the up B. Right. And then if he doesn't get it, he just walks away and says, you know what, I'm not going to risk Seems more than like I have to. this is a really sketchy situation for Crispy Ooh. right now. Oh, is he going to get something? 
Oh no, he's still God. living. He, uh, if he would have DI'd that wrong, it would have been Curtains. But he gets the he upgrade. He wants the world. He wants the world. Makes it back safely. Oh, that would have been close. But for how long is he going to be able to... Ooh! He's put the fear in Alex right now. Yeah. He has... They're both... They both have the fear put oh, into them. one more forward smash. Edge guard situation. Could he be... I was he could be looking for a back air or very nice, a mock Very tornado. nice. Very nice. Able to reset the edge guard. He tries to sneak in a back air, but I like the directional air dodge. Is he looking for a back throw? See, you kind of have to respect Meta Knight forward smash. It does have a minus six on the shield. And it's got that 24 frames of startup. The decepti deception and hitbox there is also really scary right now. Oh, gotta good, watch out. Good, good uh, patience not going for that upbeat. Oh, he barely went him. over Crispy to actually hit him with the homing attack. Here we go. Oh. I get scared every time he does that, man, the, yeah. uh, the dimensional cape. Don't overcommit. He's keeping the neutral here and he's neutral patient, air. But unfortunately, the neutral air is not going to be enough. Alex just has to go for that low recovery. He was scared of the mock tornado. Finally, he finds his way in with the back air. And that'll Sonic do it, yeah. There it is. Sneaks it in for one last time to take the stock. Alex Disc. That you felt like a game three. Yeah, that, no, that felt like a game five, man. That was, <laughs> that was game five, oof. Alex Disc. He just knows, like, all right, man, I can't do anything too risky. But I did like that cross if he got there with uh, Spin Dash. Yeah. He knew once I come back mm -hmm. on stage, go for the Spin Dash, cross my opponent up. I have the and speed. And you know, he was also thinking in that moment. You just saw Crispy go up, just run up there. Yeah. You know, he was like, oh, so he might do that again. Wait, what? He's like, the next one's going to kill, so I might do that again. Yeah. But at that point, he knew the back air was going to hit because he wanted to punish him out of shield with a Nair or an aerial or something like yeah. that. So Most that was just a great play. Just a great play by uh, Alex Disc. Wait, YMCA. <laughs> I, have, I actually have to, like, see this. This is actually next level. What? This Here is we are. Hold on. Ten months of Smash Ultimate has all been leading up to this moment. I don't think it's going to work, and you're kind of hurting my ears right now. We'll make it happen, man. We'll make it happen. We'll do it all like right. this. Sure. Sure. <laughs> so I'm letting you know that Squidward is not impressed. Impressed by what? Anything. I feel like I'm bold and brash. I belong in the trash. Dude, this nose goes over my... I... I see. <laughs> I can see it. So anyways, good stuff to Alex Disc. I believe he is from Mexico. Uh, he mm -hmm. does have his family here with him. I think he came along with Spargo. Uh, I, see. I, I see. I see Spargo's right, right there as well. Right. So good stuff to Alex Disc. Nonetheless, here, yeah, we do have YNCA up on the stream. Um, claim to fame here for him. He was the number one DK at Evo. 